William Barr just got smacked with news that left Trump fuming with anger. Law and order is finally being restored with Attorney General William Barr in office. That's why the Democrat Party is working overtime to destroy him by any means necessary. And William Barr just got smacked with news that left Trump fuming with anger. William Barr has been extremely busy since taking over as Attorney General. His first big job was to release the long-awaited report into Russia collusion compiled by Robert Mueller. And as all of America now knows, the report proves that President Trump did not collude with Russia. Instead of being relieved, the Democrat Party has become furious and turned their anger to Barr. So since then, the Democrats have been attacking him with their entire might. They were hoping to throw him behind bars with baseless content of congressional votes, only for Trump to stand with William Barr. And now Barr is finally moving on to more important issues. For the past few weeks, Barr has been announcing major changes when it comes to stopping illegal immigration. The most significant of those changes grants the Justice Department more authority in deciding whether to deport immigrants with criminal convictions. His change strips the authority that many state and local authorities have had. That means that the decision will ultimately be up to Trump's Justice Department and not local authorities who may be much more lenient when it comes to illegal immigration. After all, many localities in the United States are already sanctuaries for illegal immigrants. In those areas, local authorities will not deport illegal immigrants. So naturally, the left is furious at this decision, and more than 40 elected state and local prosecutors have challenged Barr's decision. Brooklyn District Attorney Eric Gonzalez is one of the parties challenging Barr. Justice requires careful consideration of the facts of each case, Gonzalez said in a statement. This type of evaluation is best done at the local level with a consideration of community needs. It isn't surprising that Gonzalez is involved, but the fact that he's trying to argue that localities will better evaluate these cases is completely disingenuous. Gonzalez is a strong supporter of open borders and advocate for sanctuary cities. In fact, Gonzalez even hired two dedicated employees with the job of protecting illegal immigrants from deportation in Brooklyn. So Gonzalez seems to be making Barr's case better than anybody could. If it were up to Gonzalez, like it often is under current rules, any illegal immigrant would be protected from deportation. After all, in his state of New York, illegal immigrants have many perks that other states don't. Illegal immigrants can obtain driver's licenses in the state and oftentimes get away with crimes due to their status as an illegal immigrant. If Trump is going to be serious about stopping illegal immigration, an important step is stripping authority away from officials in sanctuary cities and states. Do you think William Barr is doing the right thing on illegal immigration? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.